Valley of the Bees is a very dark story about a man who joins the Tectonic Knights. He's forced to because his father actually tries to assault him when he marries a younger, more beautiful woman. And that causes a real schism between the two. When he's sent off to join the knights, he befriends a man, a knight who is, well, very much a work-study knight who's ended up his career now stuck in this monastery, looking after the younger, you know, mentoring them and giving them guidance. This begins a slight homoerotic relationship which transcends some of the strange principles that are going on there. It also opens up the door to how dogma is executed here and how if you break rules and if you step away from tradition then unfortunately it means the end for you. The search for a father figure is also central to this film. The idea that looking for a father who betrayed you or abused you is kind of hope. You're hoping that maybe you can attain some form of corrective response from him where he suddenly absolves all of his sins and says, I'm sorry for what I've done. But actually what I felt was this. The thing about the father in this film is that the young boy actually has a father who rejects him, a father who's ever loving, i.e. Jesus, and a father who is after him, i.e. the knight who is his mentor. The funny thing about this is that all three have betrayed him, all three have rejected him, and all three have tried to save him, all not able to do so, and so in the end he's left wandering the barren wilderness until he arrives back at the castle from where he started. Often you find the search for someone is the most interesting part of any journey because if you are looking for something, before you attain it, you go through a lot of soul searching to get there. And in this film, the film is about soul searching, it's about the deep complex residual soul searching within an order which is formed and forced together without much of a say or do by the people who are actually involved in it. <laughs> Remember when this film was made. That's very important and crucial to your understanding of what is going on. This was made in Czechoslovakia when the Communist Party were at their height. Now they just repressed the revolution, or in fact the revolution was just happening. And this film questioned the idea of dogma, questioned the idea of accepting what you're told simply because you're told it. It's brilliant is that it doesn't just relate to religion. Because in fact, actually, as we should all know, religion is not the major problem. It's us. We are the problem. And that's what the film says. The problem is us, the human being, the obsessive, compulsive, destructive creature who uses and abuses things in order to get and gain what they can. The father, for instance, uses it to gain back some form of penance for what he's done. The mentor uses it to capture and enslave the idea that he is actually a teacher and he is actually benefiting humanity. And then, of course, we have the child himself who is desperately trying to find some way back, some way back to normality, and is using it to try and move away from himself and go back to a place where he considers normal. But to be honest with you, the film is a bloody gory masterpiece. It has a lot of dark and very noticeably unpleasant moments. And it's absolutely fantastic. And if you've never seen it, sit down and watch it. Because you will be absolutely blown away. <laughs>